Well, hello there, Jackie Holland here in Sherman, Texas, back at the store and went to the prison today and just going to share with you how it went and it was just delightful. We had two, two church services. I spoke in the first one and my friend Vicki Hill spoke in the second, ministered to, to these different groups. It was just a beautiful time and I felt last night I was just praying about, well, what do I really don't know exactly what I'm going to speak about, which is not unusual because a lot of times that just the way it seems like the, that it rolls with me. I just, uh, I don't know. I mean, you, 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 you study to show yourself approved, workman who needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word truth. So you want to prepare yourself, you're ready, but you don't really know which way God's going to lead you because the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you into all truths and all ways. And he knows the people that, what they have need of and God loves people, let's face it. So I prayed, obviously, before I went, that I don't go waste anybody's time, and I, and I share only what the Lord wants, and also to make Jesus' name famous. So that's that's what it's all about. But anyway, I, I'm happy to say that uh, the Lord put on my heart to actually I share very much of what uh, or similar uh, to the beginning of Pastor Robert Morris, who is my pastor at Gate Lake Gateway South Lake Church, uh, and. Uh, and he was starting a whole new series on uh, the book of Revelations and the and the, the churches, the letter that was written to the to the churches, seven churches. But anyway, I didn't really speak about that so much as the first the first admonition is was you know people had lo have lost their first love and I and that's just where the Lord took me. And so it started in Revelations uh, 2, I believe 4 and 5 or 3 to 5, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, people, we've lost our first love. Uh, it, it happens and you have to rekindle. People are always saying if you want to keep your marriage or your relationships intact, you have to romance your, uh, your wife or husband and you can't take them for granted. And, it's, and so we can take our salvation for granted when we get saved and born again. We know that God forgives us. But you don't want to be all lax. You don't want to go backwards. You want God to be everything. And, you know, when you first come to know the Lord, you're so excited and you're just so <laughs> passionate and so in love. And you just want everybody to know it and tell it. You're not ashamed. There's not a, you may be bashful. You may be timid. But you're not ashamed. You're you're like on fire. There's like a fire shut up in your bones, and you and you just you have to figure out some way to express it. If you don't, you shut it down, and you quench the fire. And the Lord even says that you can harden your heart, so you don't want to do that. But my message today was about first love, and that was a I enjoyed that very much, and I believe that the the men uh, received a lot from it, and uh, so. I'm just thankful that I have a good pastor and Pastor Robert Morris, and I've always admired him, even when he was um, seemed to me like a boy, and uh, I was obviously older, and uh, but I've just always admired him, and I can honestly say I love my pastor, Pastor Robert Morris, and I love uh, his teaching, and I particularly was so fond and touched by uh, how he's breaking down in this series about. Uh, what was said to those different churches, but really he wasn't saying he he was just he was just that was just one little part one little part. It's beautiful, beautiful. But you know what? If you lose your first love, that's pretty much covers a lot because you can do all these great works, you can do all these good things, good deeds. You can go here and do that and serve to your to your you know scrape the heels off your shoes. You can just give it all. You can give empty your bank account. You can do everything. But if you've gotten cold in your heart and lost your first love, it's you're so sad. And I just pray that the Lord will rekindle that first love in you and God will bless you exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask and think. And I just pray that he will bring you back to that I mean, you may have grown so spiritually and you may be so mature in the Lord. You may know the word backwards and forwards. But you know what? There's nothing like that giddy, wonderful feeling of just being in love, your first love. Just, you just, it's just the most powerful moment. So Lord, take us back to our first love and let us know the joy of serving you and loving you. 
and then loving others, as you said, because God is love. God bless you, friends. Have a wonderful day. And if my brother happens to see this, I'm going to be calling. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, Don. And um, so we do what God tells us to do. It's such a joy to serve in the prisons and jails and go. And they do this rapid uh, test for COVID. And obviously, all clear there. Uh, went in and had a great day. Now back at the store and uh, just celebrating Jesus and just... You know, anytime you speak about the goodness of God, it, it goes, you maybe you think you're speaking to somebody else. God forbid that you're preaching to others and you're not preaching to yourself because it's a two-way street. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.